If you walked into a club and saw this, you'd probably turn right around. While it's literally hard to hear, you've got to pay attention to the lyrics. You'd let one of these kids babysit your children. You'd probably be psyched if your daughter brought one home. They are straight edge, a shorthand phrase to describe a series of tough life choices made by the people who listen to and create this kind of music. They refuse to drink, refuse to smoke, and they don't do drugs. Most refrain from promiscuous sex. A lot are even vegetarians. They just all happen to love themselves some really loud music. The idea of straight edge was born in the early 80s, but it's remained largely underground. It's always attracted the type of kid who wants to belong to something, and while their peers experiment and get into trouble, straight edgers stay clean, some forever. All my friends, you know, were straight edge when I was in high school. 33-year-old Chris Wren has been straight edge for almost half his life. It's something that has been an important part of my life for a long time, but. At this point, it's it's just second nature. It's just that's just the way I am. Today, Chris runs several businesses, including Peabody-based Bridge Nine Records, a hardcore label with a soft spot for straight edge. His adolescent passion, now his career. I recognize the value in the lifestyle, and、uh, you know, I try to work with you know whatever the best bands are at the time. The music defines straight edge, and vice versa. Another Boston band, Death for Dishonor. Boston has a unique place in straight edge history. Dozens of bands got started here, and thanks in part to a vibrant college community, they flourished. Back in 1999, Fox 25 introduced you to Pete Marr, then the frontman for a popular band, In My Eyes. Straight Edge is something to me that I hold very dear to myself, and it's something that you know I've set up a discipline for myself. Pete wasn't kidding. He's now been Straight Edge for almost a quarter of a century. I'm going to be Straight Edge whether I. Put the words straight edge to it. Whether I, I'm going to shows anymore, whether I'm listening to straight edge bands, I'm just not gonna. I just don't want to drink. I just don't want to do drugs. It's just something that I don't need. Straight edge hasn't developed without controversy. By the late '90s, factions had turned violent. Kids who drank at straight edge shows might find themselves slashed or beaten up. You hear stories about them going to people smoking cigarettes and、yeah. ripping the cigarettes out of their mouths. You know. But for this generation, that's old news. Here, here's something from when we played <laughs> in、uh, Japan. After seven years of touring the world. World, Pat Flynn's band Have Heart called it quits just last month. Their final show at the 10th annual Edge Day, a concert held every year in or around Boston. It's a very aggressive, rambunctious、uh, style of music, and sometimes it's, it's on the surface it, it, does, it looks very chaotic. But usually underneath, the, the message is very uh, positive, very. Uh, Forward thinking. Having proven itself more than just a fad, Straight Edge now a kind of philosophy. The hard shell of the sound, protecting the tender spirit of the words underneath. All about coping with life, being honest, respecting your community. Hab Heart donated all the money from their final show, about twelve thousand dollars, to a New Bedford women's shelter. A good、uh, example to、uh, you know the outside world that you know that Straight Edge isn't this gang. You know it, and it's really about you know just. Positive way of living your own life, and、uh, and kind of giving back to society.